We are at the ASH meeting on hematologic malignancies, and we are in Chicago. And we're talking about low risk of avuscular necroses in children and adolescents with acute lymphoblastic leukemia treated with reduced intensity Moscow-Berlin regimen. So let's find out about the regimen, shall we? To do that, I want to talk to uh, Ksenia Romanova, who is an MD, and she's with the Federal Research Center of Pediatric Hematology in Moscow. You are a pediatrician. Yes. Thank you very much for coming by. The, the first question is, let's talk about these uh, vascular necroses. I may have not pronounced it exactly right the first time, but uh, tell me a little bit more about these, because I've been around this field for a while, and I'm not that familiar with these. Okay. Vascular necrosis are uh, one of the most serious complications of treatment in acute uh, lymphoblastic leukemia. And in pediatric, uh, frequency of vascular necrosis uh, is reported from 3.6% to 17.6% in different international trials. So this problem is very important because osteonecrosis uh, results in severe pain, uh, loss of function, and even a joint uh, collapses and uh, requiring uh, surgical intervention leads to disability and prolong the time of treatment and increased it costs. Now what do we know about osteonecrosis and ALL? We still have no uh, pathogenesis of vascular necrosis in acute lymphoblastic leukemia patients and uh, we have only single uh, point of view on this the prolonged therapy of corticosteroid is uh, one of the main reasons for a vascular necrosis development and uh, the uh, uh, temporary uh, lack of uh, blood supply to bones lead to uh, ischemia bone marrow uh, death and uh, so we don't know a lot about it but we're yes. we're starting to figure it out yes. Yes. now in terms of what was the aim of your study the aim uh, of my study was to investigate uh, risk factors in a pediatric patient with acute lymphoblastic leukemia leading to the osteonecrosis development. And uh, that's why um, I uh, collect patients from our um, trial and try to analyze different factors, including uh, treatment protocol or any patient factors. Specifically, how many patients did you study? Uh, the total amount was uh, more than 5,200 patients. It's important to notice uh, that I analyzed only symptomatic cases of vascular necrosis. Right. It means that uh, there was a clinical presentation of this condition. I try to divide patients into different groups uh, according to the uh, treatment regime according to additional factors such as uh, gender or uh, age or uh, the uh, early response to therapy and even uh, on the body mass indexes. In the end of my analysis, I try to combine these factors to uh, find the risk factors for uh, vascular necrosis development. And uh, there was a very interesting data because um, we have a, a significantly a higher incidence of a vascular necrosis in groups of uh, girls older than 10 years old. And uh, we uh, analyzed that the uh, critical point is the cumulative dose of dexamethasone during the therapy. And uh, in uh, our treatment protocol, there was a, uh, some key points that leads to uh, uh, decrease the frequency of a vascular necrosis. Uh, there was a, a low cumulative dose of dexamethasone during the treatment. It was uh, nearly uh, 8,000 milligrams per quadrat meter per course. Uh, and in the most international trials, it was uh, more than 1,000 milligrams per meter per course. We have no high dose chemotherapy for a majority of patients during our treatment. There is no cyclophosphamide in our treatment and uh, there is no high dose anthracyclines in our treatment regimes. So uh, I think these factors were uh, key points to decrease the frequency of vascular necrosis in our treatment regimes. So we call it low toxicity for patients in a way of 
of a vascular necrosis development. So how was the efficacy with this uh, reduced intensity Moscow Berlin regimen? You got similar outcomes. Yes. Which is pretty important, and particularly because if the higher intensity is what you're finding is, is associated with a vascular necrosis, so you can have effective and safer yes. therapy yes. is what you're hoping for. So what's your take home lesson? What, what did you learn from this study? Um, it was very interesting because it was very wild and included a lot of patients and I think this study uh, showed that we uh, should remember not only about uh, the results but uh, also about the toxic effects of uh, treatment including the last side effects of treatment and our aim is to prevent it and uh, to analyze the factors which lead to development of this side effect. And uh, maybe it's the way to modify our therapy regimes and to investigate new uh, opportunities to uh, treat this patient in the different ways. Well, vascular necrosis is a serious problem, so I'm glad somebody's looking into it. And it's one of many problems that we're talking about here at this particular meeting, so please uh, also find out more about the Moscow-Berlin regiments. For Ash Clinical News, I'm Rick McGuire.